Hi, my name is Nathan. Today we're going to do a comic book review of The Punisher. Issue number three, brought to you by Rated Comics. Let's get to it. Frank Castle, a man on a mission. This human killing machine was given an army to lead, The Hand, the most ruthless bunch of killers history has ever seen, all under the control of one man who himself is an unstoppable machine and he's unable to be stopped. No one in history had proved to be more deadly than Frank Castle or as his enemies know him, the Punisher. As we see this, Frank Castle and the Hand go into battle with Hydra Army. Frank Castle takes on a prisoner and looks on as his prisoner as he's wearing a costume with green and yellow. Colors from the battlefield earlier. Frank takes a go at him while he's tied, being reminded that no matter how much power he has, his primary function will always to be served to the hand. Just how the hand has given generously to him, he must also give generously to the hand. While the Punisher is torturing this person, the person who is the leader of the hand comes up to Frank Castle and tells him to revisit the time when he first killed a man. That is the High Priestess. I just couldn't think of her name at the time. This is because the Punisher was born somewhere in the streets of New York City. The Punisher has always been there inside Frank even before he knew it. So the story switches back to a 10 year old Frank Castle. A man loses control in the streets of New York. He was so outraged he started brutally beating a man and the woman on the street with his brass knuckles. Now it's not clear why he's doing it, if he made sexual advances on his women or if this guy owes this guy money. It's not really clear as to why. But these two people were being hit and hit and hit on the road in broad daylight and everyone was being there to witness it firsthand, even including Frank Castle, but the entire streets and people just gone silent. They just go away, you know, disappear, close the windows as if nothing happened. And Frank Castle's looking at him, about ready to shoot him with a BB gun, but even he didn't do anything himself. And this guy's just brutally beating the lives out of them so badly. Each impact and blow from this man wearing brass knuckles were causing screams, louder screams, blood, and bone crunching after each impact. Frank Castle pointed his gun at the man and took aim but failed to pull the trigger. And suddenly there was silence. Frank probably might have been angry as to why he didn't do what it seemed right at the moment. Disgusted with himself, he carried on to the next day. But the next day wasn't too different from the last. The person who punched the man and the woman on the street was roaming free on the streets the next day. A made man. Nothing happened to him. It was as if nothing happened at all. Like, it's good. It's all good. It's cool. Frank told his parents what he saw. Although his parents told him to forget about it, it was something that he that just didn't leave his head. Even after trying so hard to wipe it from his brain off this incident, it kept playing in his head over and over again. He kept hearing their freaking screams. That man on the spot killed the couple. Frank could eat or sleep properly for days. He went to the couple's funeral and realized that he was the only one listening to everything that was happening, but he couldn't do anything to change the situation. Frank set his mind on doing something nobody would imagine doing. When his parents received the letter from the school, these letters were sketches what Frank witnessed and indicated what he wants to do to that man's life. Frank decided that lying would be the best thing to get him out of such a situation. Even the other kids in school started to keep a distance between Frank and themselves because bad sinister juju was developing from within Frank and Frank was about to do well you know what he's about to do you know what he's about to do piece by piece Frank began collecting what he needed for his kill from around the neighborhood nobody noticed what he was doing because nobody paid attention to his actions the story then switches to the person who committed the couple's killing Frank devised an elaborate plan I would figure his first kill would just be grab a gun, shoot the mofo, be done with it. But no, it was more elaborate, much more methodical, and much more sinister than that. Very Frank Castle flavor. Frank devises this plan where the man walks past the door and a bucket of diesel is flipped on him. He curses at Castle, not knowing who he is at the time because, as he said earlier, nobody noticed for Fra what Frank Castle was doing. Frank Castle wearing a Captain America mask said, Lucia and Martinez Giannini, I don't want to hear their screams anymore. Castle sets the man ablaze using a flamethrower. The man runs out the house being set ablaze. This time, his screams are the one being heard by the entire streets of New York. The story switches back to the original day, present time, where Frank Castle tells this story for the first time to the hand and all the henchmen. Castle continues to torture this person in front of him, and he says that although he hasn't ratted out the name of his employer, Castle still knows that he's talking about Ares, the god of war. Ares knows Castle well enough. Suddenly, an enslaved person comes up and informs Castle that something is wrong with his wife. 
Maria has reoccurring memories of her children. She tells Frank that they need to return to the park where the kids were present. Going back to how Frank knew that Iris was doing, even though the guy didn't verbally say his name, it's just within Frank's inner power of the beast, he just hears Ares being screamed internally from the guy. But now going back, Maria knows that they have to get to the kids. Frank tries to comfort her that everything is gonna be all right. He tells her that, you know, the kids will be home soon. They didn't leave him at the park. Unbeknownst to Maria, they aren't there. That's the only truth Frank knows how to tell her, but he promises her that the kids will return home very, very soon. Obviously, we know as the reader courtesy of a hand. Then Maria gets injected by the high priestess behind her neck some side of, by some top sedative, and she's out. Meanwhile, soldiers of the hand are sent towards Ares and he sees this as an insult to him. He wants the Punisher and truth be told, as of right now, he could probably just rip the Punisher in half, but I have a feeling when the Punisher does decide to duke it out with Ares, it's a much more uh, formidable match that I want to see. Instead, he is left face to face with the soldiers. Ari screams and calls out the Punisher's name. And even Frank Castle himself knows that nobody can give Ari a better fight than him. When he's ready, he's gotta unlock more of the inner beast, right? Then, the women at the castle go to the same statue, the beast present in the temple room. The high priestess tells Castle to talk to the statue and tell him how much he misses their children, how much his wife misses their children. Will everything fall into place for Frank Castle? It's only a matter of time. Although time might not be on his side right now when he comes up against Ares. God knows what's going to happen with that, but I want to see that story play out. Frank Castle stands over two coffins of his two dead children. And we certainly have a bloody battle on our hands, but that's where we got to end this issue for now. It is my conclusion about this. It's obvious that this is one of my favorite issues of the Punisher. This is by far the most gangster issues of the, of the Punisher. And the story that's rewriting Frank Castle is destined as an angel of death. It's certainly being manipulated in the current time. You already know the high priest has got some shady stuff planned. She's gonna just stab him in the back some way or another. I don't know if they're not gonna bring back the children. I don't know if they're gonna try to make Frank Castle become the permanent leader of the hand or they're gonna overrule or perhaps even offer it to Ares, the god of war. I don't know, but I'm curious to see how it's playing out. And obviously this is a fantastic read. Link in description if you wish to add this comic book to your comic book collection. The Punisher is slowly becoming the most compelling character study in superhero comics today after reading this issue in my personal opinion because this is just gangster. But with all that being said, The Punisher, issue number three. What you guys think of the comic book? Comment below, let me know. And also if you like the content we're throwing up, you know what to do. Don't be shy and don't be stingy. Here at Rated Comics, we do awesome comic book reviews, comic book related content with the occasional comic book giveaway. Thanks again for watching. Until next time.